between you and me, right where you are right in this moment, is exactly where you were meant to be. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Welcome to the Joygasmic Life Podcast. I am your hostess, Elena Harder. This is a mini episode designed to give you a taste of what is available in our larger full interviews, as well as what we get into in the deeper version of our membership, where we have full video, bonus courses with our interviewees, and of course, our weekly calls where we support each other mom to mom. We'd love to have you as part of the Joygasmic Life membership. Yeah. So then, you know, coming up towards the birth, like what did you do in terms of preparation? What were your ideas and thoughts around preparing for that birth? Okay, so I was uh, very religious at the time, and I, I did not have any spiritual practice. I did not have any meditative practice. Um, I did not know much about. I had I had heard about the orgasmic birth. Uh, I think it was a documentary, but I didn't watch it. And it was just an idea, and I did not know much about it. However, when I did my little research, I came, first, I really wanted to have a midwife. And the moment that I found out that I was pregnant, I was very obsessive at checking my, I knew my menstrual cycle, I knew the dates, I knew everything about it. So the moment that I got pregnant, I knew I was pregnant. And yeah. I was to get um, a midwife in Ontario, which I didn't get. And it really uh, puzzled me because it's like, I just called today and my birth is in nine months. So how many people have called at the same time for it to not be available? Yeah. So if that doesn't mean, I just feel like there was such a shortage of uh, that uh, availability for my life and I just didn't get one. So I had to go to a hospital birth. And uh, I was in a, in a very busy metropolitan city in Ontario. So I did not want to go to the busy hospital because I had heard stories yeah. that they really push the drugs on you because the epidural, because the nurses are just so overwhelmed and they just want to get one after the other. So I purposely yeah. decided to go with a smaller, more um, a remote uh, hospital away so I would have that option. Yeah. And I came across the term doula, and uh, I really, really wanted to have a doula. So I did my research, and I found that there was a doula that was, she was 70 at the time. And Beautiful. She, I know. And she uh, she was also the president of the association for doula or something similar to that extent. She was m- one person that was like in the association as well. So that yeah. made me feel really good. And I really pushed uh, that value on my partner at the time. And he um, he admitted to me that he said yes to it. So he would sh- so I wouldn't bother him anymore because I was like harassing. Him. I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to. So we went and we had to <laughs> And she was like, this that's, that's so good though. That's so good though. I want to pause on that because it's like, it's so easy for women to go, you know, I want this. And sometimes there is a bit of a cash outlay, like sometimes a big cash outlay for a midwife or a doula. But the women who get them, even if their partners aren't, aren't on board, they utilize something like that tactic. They're very insistent. They're not going to give up. They say, I don't care what it takes. We just have to do this. Um, or they say, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I heard a story recently and the woman said, you know, her husband was like, oh, I don't know if you, I, free birth is like kind of crazy. It's a little weird. Like, I don't know. And she goes like, honey, you're literally heading out the door to go like helicopter skiing. That is so much more dangerous for loss of life than birthing at home in a physiological safe way. And he kind of goes like, oh, she goes, I would never take your helicopter skiing away from you. Don't take this like free birth thing away from me. And he goes, oh, and he just, whoop, and he turns around right like that. And it's like, really, it's like right in here with our, with our independence and our personal strength and just going like, this is what needs to happen. This is what's happening. So you did get the doula then. That and, happened. And, and he did tell me after that when he was interviewing her, the only thing he could see was this older woman who was going to fall asleep on a chair while I was in labor. And that was his idea of it. And he was like, you know what? I'm, I, she's not going to shut up. So I'm just going to get that for her. And he actually admitted and said it to a lot of people after that was the best money he ever spent. Like he said wow. it, he yeah. said it to so many people. He recommended that to anybody that was pregnant because he saw the value in it after and he really appreciated yeah. it. So beautiful. The doula, the doula basically she uh so she would give us unlimited phone calls for any issues, any concern. I could I could just pick up the call at any time if I if I if I needed just like help or I wasn't in a good mood. I never really did that because I was pretty good with 
uh, managing my emotions and everything. And then she also gave us our prenatal class, just the two of us, where it was like two days. We went there. She had her whole dining table set up with props. And then she fed us. And it was like beautiful. It was intimate. Aww questions you know so it was it was done closer to the birth date so that way you still remember some of the stuff it's not like something that you do every wednesday for two hours for x amount of time so i really appreciated that aspect so beautiful i just i love i love all things vaginas and booms and babies and women it's just like so magical it's like creative life force there's so much more for you over in the joygasmic life membership become a bulletproof mom with us learn the tips and tricks and skills you need to recover from your postpartum mental health journey and learn the tools of joygasmic alchemy so you can have the kind of birth you've been dreaming of.